A FAMILY'S QUEST FOR JUSTICE IS FINALLY GETTING RESULTS TONIGHT. THEIR LOVED ONE WAS KILLED IN A FIERY CRASH INVOLVING AN 18-WHEELER. NOW THE DRIVER OF THAT BIG RIG IS FACING A JUDGE. LOCAL TO INVESTIGATOR ROBERT ARNOLD WAS THE FIRST TO BREAK THIS STORY. HE'S LIVE IN FORT BEND COUNTY WHERE THIS HORRIFIC CRASH ACTUALLY HAPPENED. ROBERT? Nearly three years after causing an horrific crash along Highway 59, the driver of an 18 wheeler faced a judge for the first time this morning. This is a day the family of Doris Walters has been fighting to see since 2011. Billy Jean McDade faced a Fort Bend County judge for the first time since being indicted on felony charges of criminally negligent homicide. McDade is accused of slamming into the back of Doris Walters' car, killing her. At first, a grand jury decided not to indict McDade, but Walters' family persisted, convinced a judge to have a second grand jury look at the case, and the second grand jury indicted him. Walters' entire family was in court Monday, many seeing McDade for the first time since the accident. I'll be here. I'll be here every time he's here. I'll be here. McDade was released on a $10,000 personal recognizance bond. He also must submit to drug and alcohol testing. He's due back in court on March 24th. We are live in Fort Bend County. Robert Arnold, KPRC Local 2.